everybody hi and good morning good afternoon good evening good night wherever you are in the world i say greetings to you all so uh this is my first uh youtube video and i'm a bit nervous so i hope you can forgive me if i make several or a lot of mistakes although i hope i won't make that much mistake that many of mistakes okay so uh today's content is about uh what to do if your email uh, if your uh, Genshin Impact account is being hacked okay and uh, I would just like to give a shout out to uh, Hoyover's support team because they really really do a great job and they really do a fast rapid job I got my account back in a matter of three two to three working days after filling uh, a special form that they gave me and nothing is really wrong with my account I, I get it back okay <laughs> so my account was uh, apparently hacked at the 29th of October 2022 I realized that uh, at the 28th of uh, November uh, sorry of September 2022 right so um, and then I contacted them and the response was really rapid so I would just like to uh, tell you all what to do and what information do you need to have before filling in a special uh, form that Hoyova support team will give you and you will uh, have to fill all of the information in order to uh, get your account quickly, swiftly and rapidly. Okay, I hope you enjoy today's uh, content and if you like today's videos, please give me a good thumbs up and please subscribe because I will be making more videos to your liking. Okay, so enjoy. Okay, so the first thing here is that um, I last logged into my account at the 28th of October 2022 and I realized something was off. I could not get into my account. I couldn't access it. Wherever I use my account, laptop or my phone, I, I got the same answer, account or password error. So I got freaked out. I, I, I freaked out, right? I got panicked. And so I go to Google and to YouTube and I stream and I look for keywords to confirm whether or not my account was being hacked or not okay and apparently it was so what do i do the first thing that you want to do is to contact or email hoyover support team at this address okay basically you just want to tell them that you think or you're sure that your account is hacked you tr uh, you tell them a little bit of what happened and you ask uh, them to please help you okay you can even uh, include uh, additional information like your account, your ID, your account name, and your email, although that won't really be necessary. And you can also um, tell them that you've invested a lot of time and a lot of money into this account, so please, please, please help you. Okay, in my case, at, the, uh, at that time, I was saving my Premier Gems and my IFs uh, to pull for Nahida and to pull for A and also Yae, and I really have played for a long long time and I really have spent my sleeping I was playing so I really would like my account back okay and uh, if you would please pay attention to the time frame it's 29th October 2022 at 21.52 after I sent that email this is the reply just a minute after that now if you're wondering why a minute well it's because it's an automated email okay that's why it's quick and there'll be a bunch of questions that you have to answer just answer them okay uh the uid what happened and so on and so forth just give them all the uh answers they need okay and the last one the detailed description of your problem um you'd want to explain to them when uh did you realize that your account is being hacked you'd like to tell them when you realize that and you would like to explain also uh what has or had happened between the time that you realized your account was hacked until you actually sent this email uh to them okay your plea to actually have your uh account back so just tell them everything okay now after that well um <laughs> again look at the time frame actually uh this could have been quicker okay 
but I'm a med student, so I need to learn and I need to uh, also divide my time between playing and also making uh, YouTube videos and also to learn a lot of medical stuff. So this was the quickest that I could reply back to them. 31st of October uh, 2022 at 21.26, okay? Now, if you see here, the time frame is really quick. So at the same date, in a matter of minutes, they've already replied to me. But this is a different kind of email. The previous one was an automated email, right? This one is not an automated uh, email. So they have maybe a technician or some uh, someone behind the screen over there, right? So they looked into my account and they found out that the email assigned or connected to my uh, uh, Genshin Impact account is this email. So they're trying to uh, confirm to me whether I have forgotten the email that I've used or whether it's really someone else hacking my account. And on the next uh, email that I replied to them, ASAP of course, I told them that that email is not mine. I do not recognize the email. My assigned email for my Genshin Impact and Hoyovis account is blah 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 and I told them that I never changed this email. So this uh, this is me trying to convince them that hey uh, it, my account is really hacked. Okay uh, and then afterwards you would also like to uh, tell them that you have proof and uh, you would kindly just give them all the information that they need. It would also maybe help if you uh, tell them again that you've invested a lot of time, a lot of money here, and you're really, uh, you play often, so you really want your account back, okay? Now, after that, so this is the 31st of October, 2022. The next morning, uh, the next day, on the 1st of November 2022, this is the reply to me, okay? So they have made, uh, they they have made this URL for me, and inside there, there's an, applica there's an application form, okay? So inside that uh, URL is the Hoyovers account issue form, if I'm not mistaken, that's the name, okay? So the, uh, within this uh, form, you have to answer all the questions and convince them that not on uh, that this account is yours and it's hacked. Okay. Now the only way to do that is if you have proofs for a lot of things. Okay. Now uh, just a little heads up. Okay. So um, yeah. So uh, so a little heads up. The first thing is that uh, this URL it has an, ex an expiration date. So you'd want to fill it before the expiration date uh, arrives. If you haven't filled in the forms, then you're going to have to ask for a new URL so that you can, again, fill in the forms. And they will have another expiration date, okay? That's the first heads up. The second heads up is that when you filled the information there, you want to make sure before you submit, you want to make sure that all the information is correct. Why? Because when you've submitted the first and then you submit the second, the third or the next ones, you are going to make the process longer because then they have to restart it from the last email. Okay, so you're going to delay their work. So before you submit any information, make sure that you've uh, that you filled the form with all the informations required and with all correct informations without anything missing okay and i would just like to t uh, to ask you to also don't forget to evaluate them because they really do it very very rapid and very very well okay so here they told you that they will be working after uh, after they receive your reply or your, uh, your submission through the form, they will be working for 10 days and then, then afterwards you're going to receive an email of the uh, verdict whether you get your account back or not. This used to be 20 working days, not 10 working days, but in my case, and I'd like to think it's because of all the information that I was able to provide by them. So this is not 10 working days for me. It's only a matter of two to three working days. 
So if you have your information is correct, you don't only just you not only just help them, you're helping them so that they can help you get your account back. Okay. Now here are the information that you need before filling the uh, Hoyover's account issue form, okay? Now, there's a reason for that. Why? Because not only that the form has an expiration date, the form for every time that you access it, it has its own timer. So when, you've, when you're filling that form and you've exceeded the time limit, you're going to have to repeat the process. And I did this process three times because I apparently could not give the ninth and the tenth uh, point here quick enough okay so uh, after I have all of the information apparently I could uh, I managed to fill in the form within about seven to eight minutes so I think the maximum time limit for filling the form is about 15 minutes okay so uh, make sure that you have all of this information before you actually uh, what do you call it uh, click on the URL okay so first well of course you know your own current email address or phone number that was connected to the Genshin Impact account, right? So when you know that, uh, you're going to have to also prepare another email account, okay? That's a new email address. Why? Because this email address is the email address that they're going to connect to your Genshin Impact account that was being hacked, okay? And uh, you're going to want to open this email address, this new email address. Why? Because uh, they're going to ask you to enter a verification code. So there, so there will be a place where they will ask about, uh, they will ask for a new email address. And uh, next to it, there'll be a verification code button receive verification code button. Once you click that button, you will obtain an email. You will receive an email in your new uh, email address and you will have to use that uh, verification code to then unlock the questions within the Hoyoverse account issue form. And then the time starts, okay? So that's uh, why you need uh, the new email address and uh, why you need all the information at the same time, okay? Uh, the next thing they will ask you is what game are you playing because they have several games like Taste of Themis, Honkai Impact, and Genshin Impact. And you also have to provide them with the information of your server like uh, Asia, uh, China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, I don't know, others maybe, European, I forgot, but yeah, just give the information of your service too, right? And then afterwards, you're going to have to tell them your UID, of course, that's obvious, because if not, how are they going to know which account you uh, own? And uh, afterwards, you're going to have to provide these tricky information. So point five and six are tied together and seven and eight are, are tied together. So you're going to have to know, you're going to have to remember when was your first date that you logged into the game. And uh, with that also, you're going to have to provide the information on what device, laptop or PC or iOS, mm, uh, MacBook, uh, Android phone or PlayStation did you actually logged into the game for the first time. You're going to also have to answer the question uh, about the processor and the graphic card and the RAM of the device, okay? So mine uh, was an Intel Core i5 10th generation. My graphic card is NVIDIA MX250, if I'm not mistaken. My RAM is 8, okay? Now, uh, the 7th and the 8th, uh, for the uh, for the seventh po uh, for the point seven information, they'll ask you about when is the most recent date you logged into the gate. So I found out that my account was hacked at the 29th of October. So the last time I was able to uh, log into my account is at the 28th of October 2022. Okay. Uh, let's say for another case, if you logged into your account last at uh, at the at November 1st, 2022, but you only realize that your account is hacked at the 5th of November, 2022. That doesn't mean you put in the 4th November here, but you put in the 1st November, 2022, okay? 
and then uh, you're going to also have to uh, provide the information about your device, device's uh, processor, graphic card, and RAM of the device that you last used to log into the game. Now, the information for number six and number eight could be the same if you're using only one device to log into your account. But if you're not, then number six and number eight would be a different set of data, okay? Now, afterwards, so this uh, two point of information, these two are the ones that are very, very important. These are the informations that will decide whether you get your account or not, okay? So uh, you're going to have to know whether or not you did buy or top up anything, Welkin Moon, Gems, or whatever inside the game. You'll need to know when, how much, and you're going to need to know also how you pay it. And the last thing is, uh, you have the proof of that uh, for that purchase, so the receipt. Okay, you, you need to uh, give them a screenshot or something like that. Okay, and for the additional information for your account, basically this is a list of all your characters and their constellations, including uh, and especially five star weapons. Okay, but they only give you two thousand. Uh, characters so be wise with it okay so this is the first in-game purchase or top up receipt okay um, I bought my first I forgot gem I guess uh-huh I bought my first set of gems back in 19th of October uh, October 19th 2021 uh, I paid using Google Play and this is the amount of it okay so it's actually not 86900 it's uh, 79000 but since i've paid using google play so they add additional fees to it so uh next time if you buy uh, if possible try to uh find a way to actually pay it with with a way that doesn't actually add another fee to it, okay? There are also transaction ID and order ID. I uh, I took my time to actually look this two up and then uh, paste it into my boyfriend's uh, chat room so that I can just screenshot this and just send it also to Hoyover so that they can check it for themselves, okay? And um, for the additional information of your account, basically this is every information about your characters and then your weapons. So I told them that this account that I have, uh, it's basically uh, customized for Catalyst and Sword user. Uh, it's because I don't really do well using bow, use, bow characters and I don't really like claim my characters. Why? Because although, yeah, they have big damages and attacks but they're kind of slow it doesn't mean that they're bad it's just not my style and so on and so forth just tell them everything um what you want to tell them is about your five uh, star characters and the constellations four star characters and the constellations if you have a five star weapon please state the rank the four star weapons too and if possible include when you put them like for instance my hu tao it's a c0 i can uh i forgot the exact level but i told them that i pulled them uh i pulled her at her second rerun banner i want her around 33 pity and she's my second five star uh, my, she's my second pulled five star character. My first one was Tartaglia, and I got Tartaglia, if I'm not mistaken, on his third uh, rerun banner, and so on and so forth. Just list everything that you remember. Okay, it's it's better if you've photoed your character so that you don't need to uh, to recite it from memory, which is what I have to go through because I did not thought that my account would be hacked okay and afterwards after you've entered all of this information and make sure that all of it's right you're going to submit it right and when you submit it you're going to receive an email in your new email address okay 
and this is the email from uh, Hoyover support team. They have a case number for you. Now all you need to do is just wait patiently for them and when they're ready after reviewing your account and information and everything and whatnot and so ever, you will receive an email and they will tell you whether you get your, e uh, your account or not. If you do get your email, uh, if you do get your account back, they will tell you the password and you will have to change the password. Okay, that's just it. And yeah, my expiration date was at the 7th November 2022. I only emailed them, well, I only filled the form at the 5th November 2022. Why? Because yeah, I'm a med student and yeah, things have been rough lately. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, if you like this video, give it please give it a good thumbs up and please subscribe. Uh, my next video will be about uh, the questions within the form and how you fill them in step by step. I hope you like it and I hope even without the second video, this first video is already sufficient enough, okay? And if you have any other topics that you would like me to cover in Genshin Impact or in whatever things that you think might be interesting, please just write it in the comment section. And if you have any constructive uh, comment for this video, please tell me also in the comments. Okay, uh, so that's all for today. Cheerios and enjoy your day. I hope that your account never gets hacked by anyone ever. Okay, but just so you know, even if you do, just be positive about it. Genshin Impact uh Hoyover's supporting team is very very quick they work very rapidly okay so just hope for the best okay cheers bye bye